Hello there. On the 11th of April of this year, 2023, I bought this Hornby 00 electric train set. Upon opening, I noticed there was something missing. No, I'm not talking about the locomotive or the carriages. I've already taken them out, but I'm talking about the track. I'll just show you. Now upon opening the box, it's got this little trap plan. As you can see, it's got four curves this side, and four curves this side, and four straights. And this is, and this here here is where all the track lives. I'll take this, I'll just take this bit out and show you. As you can see, still got the, there's eight curves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So that's eight curves there, but there's only two straights. But remember, according to that little track plan, just there, there should be four straights. So I'm missing two straights. So I emailed Hornby, and they sent me this packaging here, hopefully with the missing straights. So let's open this up and see what we've got inside here. I've just noticed that the track is already trying to escape. You can see one of the connectors is already trying to escape from the pack here. <laughs> there you go. I'll just tear it open. And what do we have inside? We've got two straights here. I think that's it. That's the two missing straights they've sent me. Nothing else in there. Now you may be asking, now what am I going to do with this extra tr track that I've now got? I will now show you. As you can see, I like all my locos and rolling stock to be sitting on track, not on tr not just on an empty shelf. They've got to be sitting on the track, like here. So, as you can see, my Duchess of Montrose here, with its two carriages, is not sitting on the track. Which I don't like. But now I've got all this extra track, I can now put it on this extra track which I've got here. So I shall now correct that. I've just noticed, as you can see, it's the same as both ends. Right, move the camera down. So you've got this bit here and this bit up this end here. But here, which makes this track, I can't fit this short piece here, fit to the gap. The only way I can make that fit to that little gap between there and there, I'm going to have to cut a tiny bit off this track here to make it fit. So I'll do that right now with my Dremel. I've marked out on the track where I've got to cut it, so now I'm going to cut it with my Dremel. As easy as that. Now if I had a saw, that would take ages, but hopefully. So if you are cutting on the track, make sure you get cut on a bit of old cardboard so you don't ruin your carpet or whatever it actually you're cutting onto. You can see I made a mark just there, you see. So hopefully that might just do it. Hopefully this should now fit, and it does. Ta-da, right to the end. Now let's fit my loco onto it. That's me loco. Now the two carriages. There you go. And now my carriages. But now I've got a little gap here. I've got a bit, this bit of track here that I can now fit on. And plus this little bonus bit. So I'm going to fit on as well. I've even got room to put my Princess Victoria. Okay, about half of the tender is not on the track, but that's better than nothing. At least most of it is on track. So that's my little project done. Now all my low and rolling stock are now on track rather than sitting on a blank piece of wood like there. I don't like them sitting on blank wood, I like them sitting on track, what, is, what they're supposed to be sitting on. Anyway, that's that. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye. Bye.